All right, so what I want to do here is expand on what is a cloud service provider, also known as a CSP, just because there's a lot of things out in the market there that might look like a CSP, uh, but they actually are not. So let's go through this list and see what makes a CSP. So this is a company which provides multiple cloud services, ranging from tens to hundreds of services. Those cloud services can be chained together to create cloud architectures. Those cloud services are accessible via a single unified API. So in AWS's cases, that is the AWS API. Um, and from that, you can access the CLI, the SDK, the management console. Those cloud services utilize metered billing based on usage. So this could be per second, per hour, uh, VPC use, memory, storage, things like that. Those cloud services have rich monitoring built in. So, you know, every API uh, action is tracked and you have access to that. So in AWS's case, it's AWS CloudTrail. And the idea here is those cloud services have infrastructure as a service offering. So IaaS, that means they have networking, compute, uh, storage, databases, things like that. Those cloud services offers automation via infrastructure as code. So you can write code to set everything up. And so here's just kind of a example of an architecture where we have a very simple uh, web application running on EC2 behind a load balancer with the domain with Route 53. But the idea is just to show you that, you know, you're chaining these things together. If a company offers multiple cloud services under a single UI, but do not meet most of, or all of these requirements, it would just be referred to as a cloud platform. So when you hear about Twilio or HashiCorp or Databricks, those are cloud platforms and AWS, Azure, GCP are cloud service providers, okay?